Uh, what kind of environment is Peloton walking into today? Yeah. And, and just in terms of context, obviously, there's Uber, there's Lyft. Yeah. Uh, we've now dealt with the, the past two days, uh, 48 hours of a soap opera uh, around WeWork, uh, an IPO that did not go forward. Um, and yet, these guys priced at the high end. Yeah. Well, it's always going to be a company by company market. This year has still been incredible. So you don't think it's a yeah. So when people yeah. talk about the IPO market, yeah. they say they have a window yeah. because there's a mood around IPOs. Do you think that's a, that's a, a myth? No, it definitely exists. Uh, if, if you look at the overall market's up about 20 percent, the average IPO is about 15 percent. You love to see that reversed, I think, for a real, real healthy IPO market. But still, we're talking about positive numbers. And this year, we just passed over the amount of capital we raised last year in total. So and the number of IPOs will be more. Mm -hmm. So it's still a pretty healthy market, and it's a very diverse group of sectors as well. Um, Goldman Sachs put out a report just last month that talked about this year being um, the, the, the more companies that were unprofitable okay. went public this year. This is like the equivalent they were suggesting of a, sort of a pre-crisis uh, kind of period. Well, it's, is, that, is that reflective it's, of anything? It's definitely been a year where we've seen the most amount of exits for the top unicorns we've seen in a long, long time, you know, compared to M&A right. particularly. So these companies are going IPO. So obviously they have to have scale, they have to have massive growth, and then the profitability question has been one that we know investors tend to ebb and flow about how important it is to get to profitability and how quickly. Right. So that changes, that changes, as we saw in September, uh, when, when growth sold off, that changes pretty quickly. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the ebb and flow and where we are right now. Yeah. When a company like WeWork comes out and puts all the garbage out there that they put out there, does that mean every other company has a much higher hurdle to, to, to leap over, that you're going to get the tires kicked a lot more before anybody looks at I, your I IPO? really don't think so. Uh, we make a lot out of one or two or three or four certain situations. I'm not really talking about WeWork, but it, uh, they look at the overall companies, look at the market environment, they benchmark against public peers, and, you know, we've had But a path to profitability is all of a sudden a lot more important. Sure. I mean, look at last me. week. Show I mean, me. Datadog had an amazing IPO. So this is a, a unique back-to-back uh, -back weeks of very large New York-based IPOs. Right. Pretty right. cool. But I think you look at a company like Datadog did exceptionally well because they have, you know, tremendous profits. growth and, and profits. <laughs> well, Do you think this is an issue about how long a company has stayed private? And the reason I ask yeah. is, you know, at Delivering Alpha last week, we had this conversation with yeah, Jay Clayton from the SEC, and he made a comment that, you know, he doesn't always like to step out, if you will, but he sort of stepped out on this and seemed to suggest that the problem right now is that the markets are being used, as he said, for liquidity, right. uh, for the employees, for, and, and yeah. that effectively, you know, a nice way of saying, you know, you're leaving, you're leaving the shareholders holding the bag. Yeah, and, 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 and it's I, I saw that interview, and, and there's a lot of, I think, great points in there. The, the one thing I, I comment on, too, is, or in addition to that, is that most companies, we're still seeing them do secondary rounds six months later, a year later. It's a very active You're secondary saying market. secondary rounds in the public market? Yeah, in the public marketplace. So companies right. are going public to get to scale and to continue to invest and grow and get money. Right. But that's but, very yeah. different than what Amazon, I mean, Amazon yeah. raised money one time. Sure. And sure, it lost money for a very yeah. long time, but it was not out there constantly raising money for year upon year upon year. Because it wasn't hemorrhaging cash. Yeah, well, I, I think you look at how long companies are staying private, there's a lot of drivers of that. Cheap money as well as the change in the shareholder account right. the Jobs Act are the two big drivers. Um, but liquidity demands are there. Okay. Um, so, But it's, a, it's a, actually a pretty healthy market right now.